All right. Welcome back to Cricket for Americans. We have day two action. Nick here. Gabe the wicket keeper. Gabe Wait. the marathon man. Gabe the night watchman. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what his name is. He he wears so many hats. So, <laughs> you can have that sleep, man. I like that lights hat on you got on there. Very nice. That's the Las Vegas football club. Um, all right. So we are in day two. I was able to catch some of the highlights before we watch this highlight video. So I'm not as blind as I was before yesterday. Um, obviously looked at cricket info. That's the app I use for my cricket information scorecard. There's a lot of thoughts I already have before I get into this video, but I want to see the highlights and then put the thoughts with the video. I, I totally, you know, I think you had mentioned to someone either in YouTube or on Twitter where you're just like, you know, sleep is overrated. Not for me, man. I got to get my sleep, and I'm glad I did because I had a hard time sleeping last night, um, the night before that. But man, I, I'm so sad that I missed some of this action because just from what I'm looking up, it looks super, super good. You were there for a few hours as always this morning. What are some of your initial thoughts before we get into this highlight package? My initial thought. All jokes aside is that the cricket gods have blessed us because every single cricket match we've seen some, so far, something compelling has happened, even with the Ireland, Ireland versus England ODI, historic. where obviously they were clearly outmatched. We still got to see something historic. You know what I mean? We still got to see unbelievable performance. Um Ah, well, not Tector. What's the other boy's name? The future captain of England's Camper. ODI team. Camper, you know, two back-to-back 50s. I mean, we, we got to see some great, great stuff. This one, holy cow. All I got to say is this. All I got to say is this. I am going to now change it from the Sibleyan line to the Musudian line. Because, oh, my God, I thought Sibley batted at a very low run rate and was very defensive. I'm telling you right now, this kid, we talked about him yesterday. This kid, Musad, wow. Wait till you see this this, this, this recap. It's insane. It's insane. Well, but I the cricket gods have his, blessed us. I did check out his numbers, and I'm telling you, there's someone that we'll mention afterwards that went below the Sibley slash Masood line as far as their strike rate. Way below. We're talking about the 20s. But we'll, we'll talk about all that stuff. After the highlight package, uh, thanks for all of you that joined Gabe during our live stream. Um, please don't think that I do not like cricket anymore. <laughs> I just, I just, I, I got no, 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 no. All right. And I actually, uh, I, I kind of told him, like, look, I'm used to not getting sleep because I've been working two jobs for the better part of my adult life, especially with as many kids as Savannah and I have. And, you know, it's one of those situations where, I always sleep only four or five hours a night any which way. It's been been that like that for a long way, long time, so I'm just used to it. Used but, no, Nick is as committed as I am, and I know he was kicking himself when, especially his boy yesterday, Wokes, Captain England, put in Ooh. work. He loves him some Wokes. Be honest, oh. Nick. Do you have an I Heart Wokes t-shirt yet? You know what I mean? You got a picture, <laughs> you got a picture of Wokes in your room yet? I'm getting jealous. I'm getting jealous, bro. If I find out you guys are Facebook friends or something, man, I'm going to get upset. I'm going to have to talk to Jody. Dude, the guy's the man. You got to love him. <laughs> All right. So let's jump into this. Once again, if you are a patron, you're, you know, you're so lucky because you're going to get the full on reaction. And we're not doing this to punish our YouTube video viewers. We're not doing it to say, hey, take that for not being a patron. I could easily just put it on Patreon and just have it for them. But it does take a little extra work to take out the video, to edit this or this, to add the link or whatever. But we're doing this because we have a lot of discussion as well. These are like mini R3 wickets. So we know you can't see the video, but you can pull it up. We've got a lot of people that have no problem putting up on a different device. If you're not a big fan of these no video reactions, we are not trying to punish you. We actually want to provide it to you as possible, but we got to follow the copyright gods so that we don't, we don't want to hurt this wonderful channel. And so if you're a patron... This is going to be posted simultaneously as it is on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out on there. If you want to be a patron to watch this exclusive video, you just got to be at least a $1 tier. If you want to put a request in, at least a $3 tier. But with all that out of the way, let's jump into this in three, two, one. <laughs> was, was that oddly enough Butler catching something? <laughs> one of the few. Oh, Jimmy Anderson. 139 for two. Left off mm. over 49. 
Babar. Jimmy. I did see that Babar did not last too long today. Like I said nope. yesterday, the best thing that happened for England was that bad light. There you go. Ooh, he the got, hands of steel. He got jimmied, bro. I call it getting jimmied. <laughs> no, no, he got the root treatment right there. That guy's not dropped nothing. <laughs> when they hit oh, that, like, man. please don't let it go to root. Ooh. Got Sean, your new boy. With his half century. Bro. We're going to talk about some of the history he pulled off today. I'm telling you. The Masudian line. <laughs> <laughs> I think he even pronounced that perfectly, too. Look at this guy. I love it. I love the hustle. He's got. He's not even anywhere near it, but I love the hustle. Who is that? Is that Bess? I can't tell. I think that is Bess. Yeah, Don Bess. I love that hustle. Reminds me of the man, Charlie Hustle. Oh, ah. run a root. Yeah, oh. you know Daniel who that was. Daniel oh. Russo against the sod. The sod. nightmare broad. Sod for seven. Jeez, he went in front of him. He was confident about that. But there's like, how'd you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> He's like, can I get some pointers? How do I catch a ball? Oh, oh. Look at Jimmy's face. I want you to see this. What? Look at Jimmy's face. He's like, what? <laughs> duck? Uh, Is it a duck? Not That's Jimmy. And Stewart's face. He's hilarious. His expression was like, what do you mean? Oh, he's a man. Nope. No over. Or no, uh, out, no wicket. No wicket. I like that. A touch of class. Whew. Yeah, I completely agree. I'm not worried about run rate and, and tests. I can't give away my wicket. This Probably. guy right here. Ooh. Nice Rizwan, shot. Rizwan, he did not look comfortable the entire time I saw him this morning. And at all. Pretty comfortable on that one. Eight for 39. Oh, there he is. Captain England. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just bring in Captain England. He'll get things taken care of. <laughs> I know you'd like that. Dude, that's like, we're you know, we're, we haven't gotten a wicket for a while. Where's Millionaire at? Where's Captain England at? Pull up Millionaire. Come on. <laughs> look at it. Look at I mean, there's a boundary there, but 28 and 15 overs. Jeez. Mm. That was almost like an excuse me swing. Yeah, he was just defending. Oh. That's what this guy does. And he does a lot of that, bro. Just watching balls. Dude, he he'll put you to sleep. Athlete. Sean, 225 with 77. But it's okay. Wear out those bowlers. Yum, 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 yum. Delicioso. He just eats up deliveries, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for lunchtime. He's like, I'm full. I'm not hungry. Shut up. Woo, watch out, silly point. <laughs> ah, they couldn't pay me to do that job. <laughs> Seriously. Ooh, don't worry, Archer. You'll get yours. Ooh. That was nice. Ooh. It's a hip parade. <laughs> Can't blame Butler for that one. 88, 92. Nervous 90s. He was never nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, obviously not. See. Jeez, 250 balls.
and hundred. There you go. Get pumped up. Uh, oh, it's so cool that you can hear his teammates from across the field. That's so awesome. One of the benefits of not having fans. Nice hustle. Oh, you dove too early. Oh. Dude. Love it. Love the hustle. Dom Bess. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Got nothing. Whew. Look at Ben Stokes. Like, really? Mm, look at that. It's just guiding his bat towards. Oh, can of corn. Can of corn. Yep. He's not going to drop it. Stop. Got your root. Stop. He could close his eyes, bro. He could close his eyes and said, I'm not dropping that. He could be, he could have narcolepsy or narcolepsy. What is that thing called where you fall asleep in the middle of the day? Narcolepsy. He could have that and he'll still <laughs> it. Ooh. Mm. Don Best is wishing. Look Jeez. at the spin. Jeez. It was because your boy Butler got Butterfingers. Oh, don't worry. We got Archer. Come on. Nope. Oh. There you go. Leg before wicket, baby. Oh. Woo. That's, That's an a out. golden duck, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh. I knew about that before this highlight package. Oh, Archer. You got to love it. Oh, Archer. He's disgusting, bro. Oh, dangerous. And again, who was who made the catch? Woo Come on. You don't need four slips in the goalie. Five slips in the goalie. Uh -huh. You just need Archer. Or you just need Root. I, w I wanted to see the heart, the hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. The hat trick. Oh, ouch. That's six runs. Disrespectful. <laughs> it's crazy. Masood admiring his work. Oh my gosh. Rainbow shot. Hold Jeez. that, cousin. This guy does not just put you to sleep. He can put the charge into one. Mm hmm. Three hundo. Oh my. They're just launching Ooh. pad right now. <laughs> He said it's a my, launching pad. Reminds me of my scout days. We'd make rockets and we just ignite them at one day. Just boom. Yeah, you look oh, at best, bro. One for 74. He got yeah. torched. He, he was watching too much, uh, too much little and too much young. Uh, Butler. Having Butler a day. again. Missed run out. Ooh, 150. Mm-hmm. That's three campers right there. <laughs> My gosh. Shaheen. Talk about this guy. Talk about Shaheen as a batsman. He's more of a bowler. <laughs> yo, yo, Stuart Broad is hilarious. He, he always thinks he's got it. He might have I love his expressions. It. I love his face. Unbelievable. Carries back. Oh. Love it. Carry that bat, baby. He said, Give me that cookies, Archer. Thank you. Seriously. But that you know, happens. Where's the thing? There you go. What'd you hesitate for? <laughs> look at his, look at Stuart Broad. This uh, was the funniest thing ever. He's like, uh, what just happened? Uh, he, he called it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Jeez, you see how that ball moved? Uh, he got some bat on that. And that was Masood that Broad got. Of course, Broad. Of course, Broad will get the guy who's going on a marathon. Broad stopped history right there. Yeah, he did. Dude. 
Dude, if you're in silly point, you're sitting there like on the edge at all time. Like, don't lose concentration. Don't lose concentration. He caught it. Call it your boy. About time. <laughs> Why not? He said, might as well. He's like, oh. That was quick. Yeah, hit it thump, his thump. 326, all out. I still say it's better to get all out than get the than get the declaration. This is something to your motivation. <laughs> Sibley and Pace. Sibley's up there. Let's see if he can keep his Sibley and Pace. I already know the answer to the question, but let's pretend like we don't. <laughs> Burns and Sibley. These guys were a nightmare. Oh. Different times for West Indies. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare, cousin. Hold that. Sheen in the first over. Oh, I like that over. appeal. That was a good, loud appeal. There you go. My man literally saw three balls. Yeah, the two noises was both pads, cousin. How, how is that not called at the time? I mean, come on, man. I'm telling you. So my... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Give me that finger. Yeah, you better review that route because you know what's coming. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! His finger was hurting, bro. <laughs> England, get away from him! Oh my gosh! These bowlers. Sibley forgot for, forgot. This is beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, destroyed those God. stumps. Destroyed those stumps. Oh. I wow. love that sound. It was a nice ball. Dude. I didn't know England liked donuts so much. <laughs> everywhere. Oh, ducks all over the place. Not Pope. You can't get Ollie that way. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Oh, missing. Too high. Too high. Dude, Pope, he's young. This guy's hungry. Jeez. Bro, Ali Pope was their lifeline today. He got him 91 at the second inning of the last test match, or the, the first, was it the second inning? I can't remember, but the last match against West Indies. Ooh. I mean. There's the hustle. Oh, look at that. Mm. I did some, uh. Some footloose dance dance moves right there. Yeah, that was that was really nice. Oh, careful, careful, root with that sweep. You hate the you hate the sweep. Careful, I got him before though. Yeah, yeah, serious. Like, come on, got lucky on that one. Oh my! Get God. lucky on that. Go ahead and get lucky on that. Ooh. Oh, you see her. Oh, oh this so much, bowling attack. Oh, my gosh. So much to say. So Somebody freeze say. frame that for Butler. That's how you do it, Butler. Yeah, he does. Mm. He's able to move his feet, you know, at the drop of a hat if he needs to. And he has no problem keeping him still, too, when he wants to get those – those nice shots there. That was Pope yeah, that is was nice, Pope. bro. Pope is nice. Gosh. There you go, Butler. Take some notes. Here's the thing. We've seen Butler rake. He can rake, bro. Dude, that I'm guy is holding Yasir's hat, right? He puts yeah. it in his pants. Behind, like I let you hold my hat. You put it in your pants. 
<laughs> Where's the love? Oh man. Stumps 92 Ooh. for four. Man. All right. So if you will please, let me just start off a little bit here. I I was peeking, peeking throughout the day here and there. There was a point where it was 60 for four. 60 for four. And you got Pakistan putting up 326. They said, rust nothing. They said, <laughs> we're not made of metal. There's no rain on us. We didn't rust. They had no rust. 326. And England goes out there after playing that very um, entertaining test series against West Indies. And they put up 60 for four. I mean, th there's so many. Let me just start. This isn't our three weeks, but let me just start off with, with some England stuff for a second because you know I'm rooting for England, okay? And, and I've been hard on England. And, you know, inside of me, I'm telling myself, Nick, be nice. The England fans are going to hate you and you're rooting for them. Be nice. But I got to be honest. You knew the root rant was coming. You know <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with this guy. Oh, I Once couldn't again, wait. Once again, A&W, they got, they got their recall order in. We think we got to do it. We think we got to change the name. Root, he went below two lines today. You want to know what two lines he went below? He went below the root line. That's right. Root line is 20. He got 14. He went below the Sibleyan line. Let's look at his Sibleyan line for a second. And I'm not saying this is bad in test. I'm not. But if you're only going to give me 14, look, look at this line that this guy had. He had 14 runs on 58 balls. I don't mind the 58 balls. I like that. You're taking some time, wear down, eat up those balls from the bowlers. His sibling line was 24. The sibling line is 30, people. 30. He had 24. He was below the root line and the sibling line, and he wasn't able to get. You don't want to be below those two things. If you're below the sibling line, but you get above the root line, that's a good day. You, you got to be kidding me. I mean, and not just that, but it's just that that swing, that edge, whatever that was. I mean, it was just like, really? And then my man Stokes, people on Instagram, they're already saying it was a beautiful ball. It was a beautiful ball that came to Stokes. We don't blame him. You went out for a duck. You gave me like seven or eight in the last innings you went up there, and you went out for a duck after putting on your Her Herculean effort. You got Pakistan throwing the 326 at you. They punched you in the mouth a few times. You give me a zero. Look at Look at the opening batsman. And I'm not just talking about the first two. Rory Burns, four runs. Sibley, eight runs. And he was way above the Sibley in pace. He had a 100 strike rate. Joe Root, 14. Ben Stokes, zero. Your first four guys, and you give me a 26 on the first four guys. 26. Look at this. It says, oh, where's, where does it say where the overs are at? I, I can't find that part. But it was like 12 for three. 12 for three or something crazy like that. Like, oh. that's what you do when they put up a 326? I mean, you might as well declare already. I mean, declare <laughs> the entire first match. Like, we got nothing for you. All the credit to pace and swing for Pakistan. All the credit. Their pace, England wanted nothing to do with that. And I'm rooting for England. But, I mean, thank goodness for Pope. Thank goodness that the Popian effort, I'm going to call. I'm going to steal from you. I got to find a beer in the name, the Popian effort. But this guy. 46 runs on 67 balls, six fours, a 68 strike rate, almost a 67. And then your man, Butler, Mr. Drop. And I'm going to let you talk about Butler and the, the symmetry with your man, Campbell. But 15 <laughs> runs, he at least had a strike rate of 55. I get strike run rate, strike rate, run rate. It's not everything. But Pope, thank goodness you have the Pope going up there because the first four <laughs> guys gave me 22. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, first of all, I'm almost afraid to tell you this, but one more thing to get you riled up about your root rant, okay? If you look at the lineup, and even the commentators were talking about it, the the, the English um, lineup, the batsmen look kind of weak. That's because they're down a batsman. He chose to go with an additional bowler. So, really, that tail end is really long, cousin. So, after Butler... After Butler, it's it. If I'm not mistaken, let me look at their lineup again. They may have one more legitimate batter, but then everybody else are bowlers. So that's another decision. They came in short, and even the announcers were talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. look at this lineup. So uh, No, they I, still I, have Wokes. They have Best. They have Broad. They have Archer. They have Anderson still yet to bat. So they don't have another legit batter, basically. <laughs> All right, it's ugly. All right, so we could we 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 could call Joe Root out on that. With that being said, 
as as, as, as I'm, I'm gonna throw to Joe Root a lifeline. Joe Root cannot go catch for Butler. Okay, he makes his own catches. Maybe he needs to teach Butler how to catch. But Butler had five drops, five drops so far. Get him, get him. Get him. Five drops, bro. Butler is, is is challenging Campbell, okay, for the distinguished honor of drops a lot, sir. Drops a lot, okay. They're they're battling each other. Who could drop more balls? It's ridiculous. Right now, Campbell's at home thinking to himself, man, I'm glad that he's on he's on TV right now. It took some heat off me because seriously, like, okay, does let, let me let me give you a, a quick lifeline right here. You said sir drops a lot, sir drops a lot. I like big drops, and I cannot lie. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Oh, man, it's insane. Now, we've seen Butler, and you know what? It pisses me off because my Yankees are the same way. We've seen Butler put up big offensive numbers. But when you're a wicket keeper, your first job is to make sure you get those catches and you have to make sure you go ahead. He missed the stumping, okay? He missed the stumping today, which is unexcusable. Horrible throw. I mean, th th there was one that literally went off his gloves. I'm like, how did you drop that? Somebody spray some stick him on the glove. Something, something. Are you kidding? He needs an advantage. Get him a bigger glove. Get him a baseball glove. Matter of fact, get him a softball glove. Whatever it takes, because this guy can't catch. Holy cow. And he's just like Gary Sanchez. How long have I not complained about Gary Sanchez from my Yankees? Yeah, he hits 30 home runs a year. He also gets 30 pass balls a year on fastballs. He can't catch. Don't put him in that position. He can't catch. Butler, stick him in the outfield. You know, he, he belongs nowhere behind the wicket. It, it's bad. It's bad. He makes Dorich look good. He makes Dorich look good. Bottom line, five drops so far. Five <laughs> drops so far in this test match. Oh, Holy man, cow. No love. Busted yeah. lip and all. I'm telling you, Dorich is also at home right now. Like, yep. Ugh. At least I did better than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Three today alone. Oh, so bad. With Dude, that being you you know Dorwich has already put together a highlight reel and sent it to his man Holder and saying, don't even think about it. Yeah, don't even think about think replacing about me. Look at this dude. Exactly. But, you know, realistically, watching the game early this morning, you said it best. If I tell you what, England got lucky because you said this yesterday, that the best thing that could happen to them was low light and it got called early because there was so much momentum. And early on, it was a huge, when I tell you, it was a huge wicket. Jimmy Anderson came out, took out Babar. Um, Azam. Azam. Uh, yeah, exactly. And I'm like, oh, man, it's going to be rough. But, dude, the effort, the absolute effort, the Masadian performance he put on today, it was unbelievable. And here's the thing. You can do a sibling performance where you 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 score 100, but you've seen 150-plus balls, 200 balls. You can do a, 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 um, a Masadian performance where you score 150 runs today. Hats off to him, okay? Exactly. But, Hats off to him, but he saw 311 balls. But it does you no good to go out as a captain on 58 balls when you've only put up 14 runs, especially when you know, bro, the tail end is ugly. They're not going to score all those runs. You're still down 260-something. Are you kidding me? This, is, this was rough. And even the commentators, the English commentators seemed annoyed. I was watching – on my lunch break, I was watching uh, our, our Archer's performance, and the commentators were like, oh, you guys were sloppy out there. What do you guys think happened? And, you know, it, it kind of ambushed Archer, and I'm like, wow. Like, obviously, they're in England. These are English commentators, and they were absolutely trash in England's effort on the field. They're bad fielding. Not to take away from Pakistan. Look, I'm rooting for Pakistan, mainly because I'm rooting against you, Nick. <laughs> but... <Always. laughs> You know, uh, listen, you're the Jedi, I'm the Sith. It's just that, it's that, hey, it's just that. Don't difficult. get me wrong. I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> but the reality, man, is that, yes, uh, 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 there was 150 on 311. Actually, he scored 156, I think it was, on 312 balls, something like that. But realistically, it should have been at, stopped at like a century, I think 101, 102, because he was dropped several times by your boy Butler. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. With that being said, the performance we saw out of Masad was amazing, especially today. It could have been a collapse. I actually expected Pakistan to collapse right because the suit, bro, I missed it. I was literally setting up because I had all my stuff in the studio. So I had to set up this morning. I keep forgetting in the morning and at night before I go to bed to take it downstairs. As then I'm setting everything up. I got in, in the background, so I'm listening to it, and I hear the, oh, so I turn around. What, what just happened? Bro, the first opening minutes of the match, we lose the best hitter on Pakistan. I said, oh, man, here comes the collapse. But 
Masad said, whoa, 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 calm down. But easy. I'm going to pitch a easy. tent because I'm going to be here all darn day. All day. Listen, I'll be – if it wasn't for – and that's why Stuart the Nightmare Broad stopped history because if it wasn't for him, again, we're talking about being able to be the last person to – uh, 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 walk off with his bat since Raul Draven? Are you kidding me? That's impressive. That's impressive. That's 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 unbelievable. And all the credit to Masoon. I mean, this guy put up 150. Um, I got I got some 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 facts here about his performance. I mean, absolutely legendary. He um, 156 off 319 balls. Become the sixth Pakistan Test cricketer to score three centuries in successive I- innings dating back to his other test matches. Um, with this feat, Massad joins a league of legends, all of whom have achieved the same record. Um, in his previous career best, 135 against Sri Lanka, this guy, like you said, he almost carried his bat. He almost made it. He was at the very end as an opening opening batsman. He ate up all those balls, like you said. I mean, this guy has no room for lunch, no room for dinner. This guy is just... This is the kind of performance you need because, I mean, nothing to take away from Azam. The guy got 69 for crying out loud. I mean, that's an awesome effort that you would take that any single day. But Masood, Masood, excuse me, this guy, unbelievable. Um, One other about- guy I want to um, highlight before I forget, bro. You know, momentum is everything. Not all wickets are the same, right? We've talked about this. There's big wickets. Stuart Broad is that guy. Look, that was a huge wicket today. Get Getting him, stopping that, even though it was a small victory, no, you're not going to, you know, make history in our house. Stuart Broad, the nightmare Broad, as I call him, that's a huge wicket. On the other side, the big, biggest wicket of the day, in my opinion, was by Muhammad Abbas. I got to give him credit. This kid is nasty. Hearing his story, Nick, this guy was working in a leather shop leather shop and was picked up in a game where he put bold unbelievably he's 30 years old but this guy really his story to where he got is amazing but with that being said getting ben stokes on a duck is huge because ben stokes we've seen ben stokes go off for 176 runs all right he averages 50 runs easily a test match so Getting him out that early, I think, almost ensured the fact that you know what, this is gonna, we're gonna win this inning because right away you knocked the air out of England. So hats off to Masad as well. You know I love bowling. Not all outs are the same in baseball. That's why closers get paid the big money. Not all outs are the same in wick. Not all wickets are the same in a test, and that was the biggest wicket of the day, in my opinion. No, totally. I mean, you kind of stole some of my thunder there, but yes, Sorry. I completely agree. I was gonna mention about. A boss because I met, I saw that those big wickets that he got. This guy, he's got 18 career test matches. He's not much of a batsman. I mean, his average is seven. He's not his top score is 29 in, in those 18 matches that he batted in. I'm sorry, 18 test matches that he was able to get up to the wickets and bat. But this guy's bowled over three th- almost four thousand balls. He's got 75 career wickets. This guy is no joke when it comes to bowling. You have him on your team as a bowler, not as a batsman. It's interesting. It's interesting where they put him. Um, he was number nine. Okay, that's not very early, but still, you would think with his record, you know, let's put him at 10 or 11. But talk about the wickets he got, to your point. He got two big wickets. He got Sibley, and he got and he got Stokes. Stokes, in my opinion, is like fire. You can get burned by fire. This guy is coming at you so fast. He can put, he can get boundaries and sixes in bunches. We got He got 176 not too long ago. And then you got Sibley, who's like that sand. He's slow. He's methodical. But you can get drowned in sand as well. You're the quicksand I have. He's more like slow sand. But he was able to get out the sand and able to get out the fire with only, you know, eight runs given up and in those 15 balls against those two batters. That is huge. But they have a serious bowling attack. I mean, we heard a lot of, you know, watch out for their fielding. You think Butler's bad. Watch out for their fielding. I'm not sure how their fielding went today, but all I know is Shaheen, he got himself a big wicket. His economy is 1.33. You know I love the numbers. Abbas, two wickets. Shaw, already a wicket. They were at 60 and four. They were at 12 and three. They came in. Talk about Russ. I don't want to hear about that. They came in and they showed England, we're here to play. We're ready to go. And it's a statement they made. And hats off to England. I'm going to give them some love right now. I gave them a lot of hate. 12 and three. They were able to store, you know, bring down the ship. They were anchored down. Root, I gave him a lot of hate. 
Um, but it's nothing but love. He can field amazingly, and at least he ate up 58 balls. He was able to calm things down. And then obviously we saw what Pope did. So they went from like 12 and three, whatever it was, to now they're at 92 and four. So they were able to correct that ship mostly. I don't like the way Root went out, but at least he was able to eat up those balls. I mean, we, we can talk forever about this. There's so much to talk about in this match. Super impressed by Pakistan. Impressed a little bit because England was able to bowl them out, even though they get up to 326. It's a big score. And they were able to, you know, hold things down, hold down the ship for at least a little bit. Can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Can't wait to see what happens Saturday when I can jump on that stream. Um, I mean, I was so tempted to just not get any sleep and jump <laughs> on the stream this morning, but I just know I couldn't do that to myself. But can't wait to see more. Let me um I destroyed England, right? Let me say one thing though. Butler, unlike unlike Campbell, Butler doesn't let his defensive woes, his wicked catching woes, affect his offensive performance. Because if Butler goes out there and doesn't put up, I think he got 30-something today, it's over, okay? You saw what the end of their, their tail end is. It's over, all right? But he went out there. I forgot about those drops. I forgot about how bad I've been playing defensively. And he helped his team. He contributed it. One of the reasons I killed Campbell so much was because he had the biggest drop in that West Indies game, in my opinion, okay, when he dropped Ben Stokes. And then right after that, he gave up his wicket in three balls. That's, that's you know what? You should be dropped off the team. That's the kind of uh, performance that gets you dropped off a team. I'm not saying I understand Butler can hit, he, but fielding, he has struggled. And I'm just saying, Bearstow's out there, people. Bearstow's out there. I don't see Bearstow getting torn up like this. And people are like, hey, Butler's actually the catcher on the ODI team. That may change. That may change if this performance doesn't uh, uh, doesn't improve. So at least he showed some fight. He showed some gusto and said, all right. I, I, you know, I bit the big one. I dropped the ball wicket keeping, but he went out and at least gave England, I think it was 31 runs, which helped literally stave off really what, in my opinion, was obliteration. It was an onslaught, bro, an onslaught by Pakistani bowling day. Yeah, I mean, they, they're they no joke. And like he said, with the, with the batsmen yet to come, I mean, it's almost as if they're at seven or eight wickets right now. I mean, nothing to take away from the other hitters. I know. I, I think Wokes can play pretty, can bat pretty well. Best can bat pretty well. I haven't seen anything from Archer yet. Um, I haven't seen anything from Anderson yet. I'm sure. I mean, this guy is a veteran. I'm sure he'll get. They, they they need a serious effort from these guys. They don't need to chase them at 326. This is Test cricket. But I say you'd feel a whole lot better if you got above 200 than getting just about above 100. We'll see what happens. It's not looking good right now, but let's see if anchor or uh, England can anchor down. Let's see if Pope, let's see if Butler, to your point, you know, they can go out there and show up. Let us know what you think. Let us know what your prediction is for the rest of this first inning for England. Let us know what your prediction is for the entire match. Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for checking us out. And once again, don't forget to come back tomorrow for hopefully some more videos. But until next time. That's six runs.